Sumaya Anju. I am a consultant physician at Safa Clinic, Rajiv Nagar, Mysore. Today we are having a discussion on what is high blood pressure and how to prevent it. Generally, everyone would like to have healthy or normal blood pressure. But what exactly does it mean? Basically, when the heart pumps, it pumps the blood into the blood vessels. This creates a pressure against the wall of the blood vessels. This is called as blood pressure. Normally, in a healthy person, the blood pressure rises and falls throughout the day. But if the blood pressure remains elevated for longer duration and if left untreated, can lead to serious cardiovascular problems. If the blood pressure remains persistently elevated for more than 140 by 90 millimeter mercury or equal to 140 by 90 millimeter of mercury, then it is known as hypertension. High blood pressure develops over time. It can happen due to unhealthy lifestyle choices such as not having enough physical activity, obesity, smoking, alcohol consumption and even stress. There are also other risk factors for in developing hypertension. There are other risk factors also that can increase the risk of developing hypertension such as aging. As we get older, the arteries become stiff and narrower due to excess fat in blood. Also, if there is a family history of hypertension, if one or more close family members have high blood pressure, then the person also has the risk of developing hypertension. Taking excess salt intake can also increase the blood pressure. Not having enough potassium containing diet can also increase the blood pressure and can increase the risk of stroke and chronic kidney disease and um, also not managing stress in healthy ways also can cause the patient to develop hypertension. Moving on, hypertension does not have any obvious signs and symptoms, hence it is called as silent killer. It poses the person at risk of developing several diseases in the form of cardiovascular disease, stroke, chronic kidney disease and also uh, eye damage and blindness. This early and accurate diagnosis is very important in the management of hypertension. Measuring the blood pressure is the only way to know whether the person has high blood pressure or not. Generally, when symptoms do occur, they include headache, nausea or vomiting, blurring of vision, sometimes buzzing in ears and also fatigue. If such symptoms do occur, then the person has to get checked their blood pressure. High blood pressure can be easily diagnosed by measuring with an instrument called as pigmomanometer. The blood pressure is recorded usually in two numbers, systolic and diastolic. Now let's try and understand what do these numbers actually mean. A healthy or normal person will have blood pressure equal to or lower than 120 by 80 mm of mercury or you can also read 120 over 80 mm of mercury. Here the upper number is systolic blood pressure. Systolic blood pressure is the blood pressure in the blood vessels when the heart contracts and the lower number indicates diastolic blood pressure that is the blood vessels the pressure in the blood vessels when the heart is relaxed in between the two nerves. If the blood pressure is or more than 140 by 90 millimeter of mercury, then the person is diagnosed to have hypertension. If the person has blood pressure more than this number, that is 140 by 90 millimeter of mercury, it should be accurately treated. Otherwise, the person is at risk of developing cardiovascular complications. On May 17, we celebrate World Hypertension Day. This day is dedicated to bring global awareness and also to enlighten the patient for the importance of monitoring the blood pressure worldwide. This year's theme of World Hypertension Day is measure the blood pressure, control it, live longer. If the blood pressure is elevated, then it should be monitored and controlled. This risk can be prevented and reduced by taking steps towards healthy lifestyles changes such as regular exercise, quitting smoking and alcohol consumption, healthy diet, self-monitoring of blood pressure 
and adherence to medicine and stress management. If blood pressure is successfully controlled with such lifestyle modification, then it may avoid, reduce or delay the need for medications. So let's take a look at these strategies one by one. Regular exercise also helps you to maintain normal body weight, which in my opinion is the most important way to control the blood pressure. So it is very important for you to aim for at least 30 minutes of aerobic activity on most of the days of the week. The blood pressure can be reduced by doing regular physical activity like jogging, swimming or even brisk walking. Now coming to another strategy that is healthy diet. A healthy diet is very important in controlling the blood pressure. It includes whole grains, taking vegetables and fruits. It is important for a hypertensive patients or even if to prevent the hypertension, the person adopts these dietary interventions. There are various dietary patterns such as uh, DASH diet or Mediterranean diet and also uh, limiting the salt intake and alcohol consumption, taking less saturated and fat diet and taking plenty of potassium in the diet. DASH stands for diet, Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. Eating DASH diet that is rich in whole grains, fruits, vegetables and low fat dairy products and less saturated fat and cholesterol. It reduces the blood pressure for about 11 mm of mercury in a hypertensive patients. Reduce sodium in your diet. Even small reduction in the sodium in the diet can lower the blood pressure for about 5 to 6 mm of mercury in a hypertensive patient. Also decreases the risk of heart disease. So how to reduce sodium in the diet? By reading food labels. Whenever you choose food products and beverages, try to pick up the food products containing low sodium diet and also the processed foods contain high sodium usually uh, sodium occurs very small amount in naturally occurring products so it is better to eat naturally occurring products and also instead of adding sodium to the food that is one teaspoon of salt has 2300 milligrams of sodium in it so avoid adding salt to the food instead add some herbs or spices to flavor the food quitting smoking can also reduce your blood pressure and overall it improves the heart health now coming to next important strategy of maintaining blood pressure that is by regular blood pressure monitoring some of the hypertensive patients get checked their blood pressure only when they visit their doctor but it is not always possible for the patients to check their blood pressure by visiting doctors. Instead, I advise them to check their blood pressure at home by self-monitoring. Self-monitoring helps the person to measure their blood pressure at various times of the day and also for the longer duration. This assists the doctors by giving a complete picture of the blood pressure recordings at various times of the day and also further it may help the doctor to predict the cardiovascular morbidity and mortality. That is why self-monitoring of the blood pressure is very important. Stress management. So by learning relaxation technique, one can lower the blood pressure and also improve their physical and emotional well-being. Stress management techniques include exercise, listening to music, focusing on something calm or peaceful and also meditating. Now coming to adherence to medicine. A medicine to lower blood pressure may be recommended by a doctor. If your blood pressure is consistently at 140 by 90 mm of mercury or higher than this, adherence to medicine is very important in controlling your blood pressure. At last, I would like to suggest that there is nothing more precious than having a fit and healthy life. At last, I would like to suggest that there is nothing more precious than having a fit and healthy life. Adapting healthy lifestyle can help us enjoy healthy and long life. High blood pressure can be prevented as well as controlled in many ways. Keeping blood pressure in the normal range help us reducing the risk of developing cardiovascular diseases. 
it is very much possible to maintain normal blood pressure with regular monitoring and preventive care. Thank you. This is Dr. Sumaya Anjum here from Safa Clinic, Rajiv Nagar, Mysore. Friends, remember, measure your blood pressure, control it and live longer.